Hello everyone, welcome to Explorer Electronics. In this video, I am going to discuss some 20 very important questions in basic electronics that will be helpful for exam. So here are the very important questions in basic electronics. The very first question is the block diagram of DC power supply. So this block diagram of DC power supply is very important, which is asked in the previous exams also. So this question will be appear in the examination for 6 to 8 marks. So this is very important. So next question you can expect is on rectifiers. So in rectifiers, we will be having three types. So all three types of rectifiers you are supposed to study the working of those where the circuit and all need to be studied carefully. So this is a expected question. Very, very important for exam. And the next expected question is that op-amp circuits. So in op-amp chapter, you will be having circuits. So there are no derivations here. Here also some four to five circuits are there. So these circuits need to be studied and the expressions for those. So this is also a very important question and we can expect this question also. And the next very important question in module two is uh, before going to module two, we will be having um, oscillators here. So ladder network oscillator or the vein bridge oscillator is very important. So out of these two, you can expect one question also. So from oscillator, you can study these two. And then coming to the module two, logic gates. Logic gates is very, very important. You need to write the truth table symbol as well as the related expression for those logic gates. And then in this chapter itself, the half adder and full adder, half adder and full adder. Here also you need to study the truth table and the circuit for that. And then coming to the uh, module two, the next topics that is multiplexer. 4 is to 1 multiplexer is very very important here. Uh, this one and also you will be having decoder that can also be asked. Decoder can also be studied as very important question. And next one is at the end of second module you will be having microcontroller block diagram. So microcontroller is also very important. Microcontroller block diagram and here in the block diagram you need to explain all the blocks which is connected to the CPU around uh, the CPU we will be having memory and all. So you need to explain the microcontroller block diagram and coming to the next question uh, that is module 3 from module 3 elements of embedded system. So elements of embedded system is also a very important question. And in this chapter you will be having differences. So you can easily uh, write some five differences. So some five differences between embedded system and general purpose system, embedded and general purpose system and also microcontroller and microprocessor differences. These things you need to concentrate uh, on embedded system and in the same chapter in embedded systems you will be having LED and seven segment display. So this is repeatedly asked question in other subjects also. So seven segment display is very important here and then in the uh, same chapter you will be having stepper motor control. So stepper motor how uh, the working will be and also the different types of stepper motor arrangements you need to study. This is also an expected question. And then coming to the next question that is again a block diagram. So block diagram of communication system, so modern communication system. So this is also very important uh, for exam. Then in the same chapter, you will be having modulation. So in modulation technique, AM is very important. The difference between AM, FM also you can study. And with this, go through ASK, FSK also. Digital modulation schemes also very important here. And then in the same ch uh, chapter, we can expect antenna types, types of antennas. We can study antennas. And then the next question I can say is in the next chapter that is again a block diagram, block diagram of cellular telephone system, 
cellular telephone system so this is also asked many times in the previous uh, semester exams in other subjects also and then uh, here bluetooth is also very important uh, okay bluetooth is important that will come here okay then coming to the next chapter you need to go through 1g 2g 3g 4g in that amps amps block diagram and also gsm block diagram and concepts related to that is very important okay gsm go through gsm and things uh, related to that and block diagram of satellite communication so block diagram of satellite communication is very important here you can also study different types of satellite orbits so satellite communication related question will be there and also the block diagram of OFC block diagram of optical fiber communication is also important it is asked in the previous exam also and also other than these questions you can also go through some other concepts uh, like uh, coming to the module 1 again you may expect a voltage doubler and a tripler and in the same chapter you will be having zener diode as voltage regulator voltage regulator can also be asked and then negative feedback negative feedback and then coming to the amplifier circuit you will be having uh, bandwidth what is bandwidth what is phase shift these things can be asked okay and then uh, coming to the third module uh, the difference between microprocessor microcontroller is very important and uh, in that you will be having other differences also so you can go through the differences between Mm, risk and CISC also that can be asked if they have not asked the difference between microprocessor and microcontroller and then coming to the uh, next chapter you will be having communication where amplitude communication sorry amplitude modulation and frequency modulation is there so the waveforms are very important here waveforms can be studied and in the next chapter you will be having 4G and uh, 3G in 3G 4G you will be having um, a GSM architecture is there in 2G and then CDMA is there and also LTE is there evolution of uh, LTE that concept is also important and radio spectrum is important and also coming to the uh, some transducers and sensors you will be having relay and also keypad in module 3 so these things are also very important and then uh, microwave communication in the last chapter microwave communication so these are some expected questions out of this the first 20 what I have written are very very important so you are not supposed to skip any of these questions which are uh, repeatedly asked in the other uh, subjects also and which are very very important for the exam. Thank you.